Hey guys, welcome back. Well, my uh, modeling day today, and we're gonna be doing a radiator. Okay, let's jump in, here we go. Well, we're in uh, Maya 2018, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with a polygon uh, plane, and we're gonna hit the Attribute editor, I hit control A and we're going to go in and I'm going to set this to 5 by 5 subdivisions, which is uh, fine for now. And then we're going to hit R to uh, stretch this guy out and stretch it out in this direction a little bit as well until we're happy with uh, the size of roughly one panel for our radiator. Okay. Now, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our top view and we're going to right click and go to vertex. I'm going to drag select these guys and I'm just going to scale that out a little bit like so. Right? And while we're at it, I'm just going to take these vertices and these vertices and we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of scale that out like that. And then we're going to skip one, do these two here and we'll do these two here. And we'll do that one more time like that. Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna go in to, uh, let's see, we'll do edge loop, we'll do two in multiple, and we'll do two here and two here, looks all right. We'll hit, uh, let's see, Q on our keyboard, and then we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna right click, go to face, click this one and this one, control E to extrude, W to pull up, that's about right. And then we're gonna make sure that these faces are still selected and we're gonna delete like that, okay? And then we're gonna take these two, control E to extrude, W to push down. And we're gonna hit control E again and we'll do uh, keep face together off. And an offset will do 0 0.1, okay? That is that, looks all right. Uh, let's see, then we're going to go in, we're going to double click on the outer edge, we're going to hit Control E to extrude, W to push down, R to scale out, and there you need to be careful because it's going to flare out more at the ends than at the sides, so compensate that a little bit like this, G to repeat, R to scale out, and again, compensate a little bit, G to repeat, and W to push down, like so. Okay, we're going to right click in object mode, we're going to do three to preview smooth and we're going to have a look and I think this looks okay. So we're going to hit one to go back and then we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. Now depending on how high or low you want your poly count to be, you can uh, go up a level or not. I'm just going to hit two here to make it rounder and nicer and I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit um, I'm going to turn on my display here for a sec, my grid, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to hit E to rotate this guy, hold down J and snap it upright. And then I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it, hit E to rotate, hold down J as I do so, flip it around, jump to my top view, hit W and push that in until we have one element. Make sure we've got no gaps there, there we go. Select them both, go to Mesh and Combine. Control D to duplicate. We're gonna move that over until these two are connected like so. And then we're gonna hit Shift D, depending on the number of elements you want to have in your radiator. I think this looks about right. So we're gonna drag select, we're gonna go to Mesh and Combine, Edit, Delete by Type, History, and Modify Freeze Transformations. Okay, and actually, let's hit W, hold on X, snap it, and go to Modify and Freeze Transformations. All right, so now that we have that, uh, let's see what else we need to do. We need to plug up these holes, of course. So for that, we'll take a, a polygon cylinder. We'll pull that out. We're gonna hit Control A again. Uh, actually, that's already open. Let's go in. We'll see we'll set this to a subdivision level of five and then I'm gonna right click at a face drag select whoops drag select these faces delete yeah 
And on this guy, we're going to go to Edge. We're going to double click, Control E to extrude, W to push down, G to repeat, R to scale out, G to repeat, W to push down, G to repeat, R to scale in again, G to repeat, W to push down, which will give you something like that. Okay. We're going to go to object mode, we're going to go to modify and center pivot. Let's hit E to rotate it, hold down J, flip it upright, W to move it in. Let's jump fuse, 4 for iframe mode. Let's hit R and scale this guy down, W to pull it up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hit E and rotate it a bit so it looks a little bit more level. W to bring that in, and we might need to scale it back up just a little, and then W to bring it down just a little. Okay, let's go to uh, modify and center pivot. All right. Okay, so we have that. F to zoom in. We're gonna bring that in like this, and you obviously don't want it to come in to a point where it's sticking through. So let's have a look. Come on, play ball, please. Right, so that looks all right. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy, Control T to duplicate, and W to push down. Let's make sure that's the same height as well. Yeah, it's nice. We're gonna select them both. We're gonna go to uh, mesh and uh, combine. Control D, E to rotate, hold down J, flip them around. Hit W and move that out. After frame, push it back in. After frame again, have a closer look. And there you go. All right, so now that we have that, we need a pipe going from the radiator to the wall course so for that we'll take a uh, polygon torus we'll pull that out here jump to the top view we'll right click and go to face let's see we don't need mm, this half and we don't need this half so this is what we got All right so let's uh, push that in here and there you go and what I'm going to do from there is uh, push that down. Let's make sure we're at the right height. We're going to R. We're going to scale that down a bit. W to pull that up. Just make sure it's sitting okay. And I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode so I got a better reference. Okay, so this guy needs to come down, it looks like, but that's because that point is up there. Okay, so don't worry about that. So we're going to focus on the center line of this guy. So that should be about right. And then bring it in from this angle. Have a look right here. We'll look at it from here. Okay. So yeah, this looks right. So what we're going to do next is we are going to pull this out. Okay, I'm going to right click go to edge. I'm going to double click here. Pull that in like so. That looks right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, insert edge loop option box. We're going to set that to 2. That's actually not what I want, but that's okay. We'll uh, sort that. I'll set it to 1 instead. And we'll put that in right there. And then we'll put another in right there. Put Q on the keyboard. We're going to get a face click and double click or to be exact click and shift to double click control E to extrude 
0 0.1, oh, 0 0.025 maybe, uh, much better. Yeah, that's good. And then let's see, we want one here at the end as well, okay? So let's set that to manual, that looks all right. We're gonna bring that in right there. We'll do one right here. Q on a keyboard, face, control E to extrude. 0 0.25, 0 0.025, yeah, better. All right, okay, almost there. We're gonna go in, we're gonna right click go to edge again, double click on this, control E to extrude, we're gonna W to pull that out, and that's gonna go into our wall, right? So we have that, now, um, if you want to have a, um, a knob up here, what you can do is borrow this guy. So we're gonna hit the Control D to duplicate, pull that up. And what we're gonna do is we are going to hit E to rotate it, which means that we'll have to push it back into position. Let's have a look from this view. Yeah, I'm going to pull that up. I have to zoom in. This needs to be smaller. So we're going to scale this down a bit. W, pull that down. Have a look in our perspective view. Let's uh, bring that in, like so. Now, you can get the whole thing a bit closer. So we're going to go to vertex, drag, select all of this. Bring that way in. And because of that, this will now be at an angle. So we need to kind of compensate that just slightly. And then we're gonna go in here to vertex. Let's uh, bring this down. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in, right click at the edge, double click on this and double click on this. We're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale that in. Hit W, push it down a bit. And then from here, we're going to go in and put a knob on top of that. And for that, we'll take a polygon cylinder. Okay. So we'll uh, pull that up, pull that over, make sure it's sitting okay from the top. And let's see, that's going to be our guy. And I'm going to scale it way in to make sure that the position is okay. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna bring it down, scale it up a bit. Right click at a vertex, drag select the top there, hit W, bring that up. And from proportion point of view, shouldn't be too big, of course. See how that looks. Yeah, maybe a bit bigger. We may need to extend that little pipe there. All right. So let's uh, add a little detail to this guy. All right. Now, just to uh, get a little bit of detail in here, uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna take these faces, control E to extrude, W to push down like this, and then we're gonna take these, take one, skip one, control E to extrude, 0 0.25, that's way too much, 0 0.025, much better, P 
preview smooth at three. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth, and then we can hit one to go out of that. And you can see that we can maybe bump that up a level. Let's go in and set that to two. Looks better. Yep. So we got that knob on there. We got our pipes. Uh, what you can do is either create brackets to hold it onto the wall or put little uh, feet under it. We'll do uh, brackets. Um, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Just going to take a cube and we're just going to push that in nice and thin. Push that back. Let's have a look at where they should be. So we'll have uh, we'll put one up here. Let's say right there, and then we're gonna go in injured edge loop and single setting. Let's go in at the end. Q on a keyboard. We're gonna right click at a face, select this face, and hit Control E and pull it down. W like this. Like I said, very straightforward. We're going to take this guy, we're going to push it back. Now let's see how far back we can go. So that would be about that. Now our wall is not that far, of course, so we're going to drag this vertex back a bit. Let's see how far back we can go. Let's go let's say to about there okay and what we'll do here is we'll take these vertices and we'll snap them as well okay so we've got this guy um, it's selected make sure we've got nothing else selected than that control d to duplicate w to move it over put one here as well and then drag select both go to mesh and uh, combine control d to duplicate e to rotate Hold on J and flip them around, like so. Hit W, push them down. F to frame it. Okay, so there are your wall brackets. Um, you can go in and create a quick wall if you like. We'll take a cube, we'll hit R, scale it up. We're gonna right click at a face, select these faces and Oops, that's one too many. One, two, three. That one as well. Take this, go up to reverse. Okay, and then we can take our floor and wall, bring it up, bring it in. Let's have a look here. Right, so we're gonna bring it in a bit more. There you have it. Height-wise looks okay. And if you've got a scene like this and you want it to look a little bit more accurate, what you can do is take a uh, polygon cylinder, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it over. We're gonna hit R to stretch that quite a bit. And then scale it down to make it nice and thin. Hit W, push that down. Have to zoom in. Just gonna turn off that grid here. Hang on. So bring that down, push that into your wall, pretty close anyway. Yeah, and you're gonna scale that out a bit more. So you'll get something looking like this. And that's kind of the idea, right? I'm just gonna scale my room a bit and maybe scale the sky a bit okay so that's what this would look like right so um, yeah that's it so hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you learned something uh, if you liked the video please uh, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.